What's up YouTube, Warark here, bringing you the first playoff match for the International Collegiate Pokemon Association VGC 2015 tournament. This match here is going to be between UC Berkeley's Aaron Tang and University of Michigan's very own Jordan Vanderswag. Aaron's got a team of Meowstic, Suicune, Hydreigon, and Talonflame, whereas Jordan's got a team of Ferrothorn, Bisharp, Thunderous, and Blaziken. Now let's hop right into this match here. As we do see that Aaron leads with Suicune and Meowstic, which is a great lead for Jordan's lead of Blaziken and Thunderous. And now as we see Suicune exerting pressure, Jordan's actually going to switch out his Blaziken, fearing the Suicune, and brings out his Ferrothorn to eat up any potential Scalds as he goes for the taunt with his Thunderous onto the Meowstic as the Meowstic actually reveals the Mental Herb here and goes for, straight away for a Light Screen not wanting to take too much damage on his Suicune potentially as the Suicune actually fearing the, the Taunt goes straight away for the Ice Beam doing over 50% to the Thunder is popping its Citrus Berry as we see it go back up to about 75% health now fearing the Taunt again Aaron's actually going to switch out his Meowstic into his Hydreigon, predicting the taunt from the Thunderous as he gets that correctly. So taunt not really a move that affects Hydreigon a lot, if at all. Suicune here just goes straight away for the Snarl, lowering Thunderous and Ferrothorn's special attack, although Ferrothorn doesn't really affect it that much. As Ferrothorn actually goes for the Power Whip, revealing that it's quite offensive um, as we see it do like about 60% to Suicune, popping its Citrus Berry. So that does a nice chunk to it. Suicune actually switches out as Eren preserves it for later. Brings out Meowstic here as Hydreigon goes straight away for the Life Orb Dark Pulse onto the Thunderous slot, picking up the KO onto that Thunderous. As we see Jordan's Ferrothorn here goes for a Power Whip to try to pick up the KO onto the Suicune which is now a Meowstic which eats it up real nicely. As Aaron here brings out his Blaziken and Aaron decides to switch out his Hydreigon back into his Suicune just to get a better matchup against said Blaziken as we see the Mega Evolution come from Jordan's Blaziken and a pretty obvious but safe protect nonetheless comes out from said Blaziken. As um, Aaron's Meowstic reveals the Thunder Wave. Now a very interesting move on Meowstic, almost doesn't carry it that often, but in this case it works out perfectly for Aaron as he would be able to potentially slow down his Blaziken. As the Ferrothorn on Jordan's side goes for a Leech Seed to try to whittle down this Meowstic that is potentially looking like a threat to his own team. Now fearing the Thunder Wave of course, he's, uh, Jordan has to switch out the Blaziken if he wants any chance of beating the Hydreigon. So he switches out into his Bisharp which is somewhat slow so it doesn't mind taking a Paralysis too much as the Suicune actually just fires off a Scald in case the Blaziken did want to stay in doing nice damage to the Bisharp, doing about 65%. As unfortunately for Jordan, a crucial miss as he misses his Power Whip, which would have picked up the KO onto the Suicune. However, that is not the case as he misses 80% accuracy on Power Whip, unfortunately, as Bisharp goes for a Protect. And Meowstic finally revealing his fourth move, Charm, which lowers the attack stage by two, therefore uh, going on the um, Ferrothorn as the Suicune fires off a Scald into the Protect. Now, that charm allowed Suicune to live the next Power Whip since that's at minus two attack now. And which is very unfortunate for Eren. Or, yeah. But, it's fine. As um, Meowstic goes for another charm onto the Ferrothorn to, to whittle it down, weaken it as much as possible as Bisharp picks up the KO with the Sucker Punch onto the Suicune as Ferrothorn fires off a Gyro Ball to clean up Meowstic. Double down for Eren. However, he's not in a bad position just yet. As he does have a Talonflame and his Hydreigon in the back to come in now. As the Talonflame is just going to fire off what I assume will be a Choice Bandit Brave Bird. 
onto the Ferrothorn, doing a nice chunk of damage, about 40%, as we actually see that the Ferrothorn is packing the Rocky Helmet at this point, as Talonflame takes a bunch of recoil damage. Fish are most likely going for the Sucker Punch there, as uh, we see Hydreigon fire off an Earth Power onto the Bisharp slot, knocking it out, and forcing in Jordan's last Mon, which is his Mega Blaziken, which we've already seen several times. Now the Ferrothorn here goes for his Leech Seed onto the Hydreigon, trying to Widow down as much as possible. Since it has that minus two attack, a Gyro Ball would have done nothing to this Hydreigon. Since Hydreigon is not one of the fastest Mons, and at minus two attack, Gyro Ball isn't going to be doing anything. So, Jordan here, forced to bring out his Blaziken, goes for a Protect, try to save, uh, try to save his Blaziken from the Choice Bandit Brave Bird coming his way. As the Hydreigon fires off a uh, Life Orb Dark Pulse into the Ferrothorn, doing a nice chunk of damage to it. Unfortunately for Jordan, gets the flinch which is terribly unfortunate, most likely going for a Leaf Seed onto the Talon Flame to try to whittle that threat down, but uh, you know that 20% chance for flinch on Dark Pulse is real. As we see the Blaziken go for another double protect, unfortunate, uh, unfortunate for him, he does not pick up the double protect as we see the Ferrothorn go for the protect as well. A Talon Flame is able to fire off that Brave Bird, easily able to knock out any variant of Blaziken defensive or not and as we see the Hydreigon just fire off a Dark Pulse into the Protect which basically seals up the game for Eren in his favor as we see you know Leech Seed recovery and all that it's not going to be enough to save this Ferrothorn from a uh, Choice Bandit Brave Bird or a Life Orb Dark Pulse from a Hydreigon as we do see it go down here Eren picking up the first win here out of three potential matches for UC Berkeley as the Talon Flame goes down to his own recoil and Ferrothorn goes down nice 1-0 victory for Aaron here and we'll see you guys at game two picking up game two here as we see Aaron keeps the same team as uh, Jordan actually decides to switch out his Bisharp for his very own Suicune Probably trying to get up a Tailwind as last game. He was kind of on a slower end of the match the entire time. So let's see if these changes can make up for for the last match. As we see Eren lead off with his Suicune and Hydreigon. And Jordan lead off with Blaziken and Ferrothorn. As we do see the Mega Evolution straight away from Jordan's Blaziken. And as most Blazikens do goes for protect the very first turn to try to get off that speed boost as it can be crucial for winning however Aaron does predict that very nicely and goes for the dark pulse immediately for onto the ferrothorn dealing approximately 50% to it and setting up the tailwind with his Suicune which he did not reveal in his very first game so that's most likely why Jordan decided to stay in and just protect with his Blaziken not sure if he had if Aaron's Suicune actually did have Tailwind, but now he switches out his Blaziken, trying not to lose it so early as Eren goes straight away for, or Jordan's Ferrothorn goes for a Protect, as Eren predicts that very nicely and goes for the Earth Power onto the Suicune slot and fires off a Scald with his own Suicune, trying to make sure that whatever he wanted to switch in for his Blaziken got off the most damage as possible. Unfortunately for Jordan here, Eren does pick up the 30% burn chance with Scald. As we do see the leftovers come out from Jordan's Suicune. Not wanting to take any additional damage with his Ferrothorn, Jordan switches out back into his Blaziken. As Eren goes straight away for the Dark Pulse on trying to pick up the KO onto the Ferrothorn. However, doubling up on it with his own Suicune, firing off a Scald into the slot in case Jordan decided to switch out, picking up the KO onto the Blaziken. Unfortunate for Jordan there. However, his Suicune does manage to get up a Tailwind this turn, which cancels out Eren's uh, Tailwind for 
the following turn that he still has it. Now Aaron's in a very good position here, knocking out his opponent's Mega Evolution as Jordan decides to bring out Thunderous here and his Jordan Suicune does go for a Protect this turn as we see Aaron's Hydreigon drop a Draco onto the Thunderous slot trying to do as much damage as possible as it actually picks up the one hit KO with the Life Orb Draco as uh, that Thunderous is not very specially bulky as usually it lives Life Orb Dracos. Suicune fires off an Ice Beam potentially into the Thunderous slide trying to pick up the KO in case it lived but it did not and ends up going into that Protect from the Suicune. As we do see Eren's Tailwind Peter out now and Jordan decides to bring out his Ferrothorn. Eren, his Hydreigon being at minus two not going to be very useful in that situation so he decides to switch it out into his Meow Stick. Suicune fires off a Scald into the set slot. Unfortunately for Eren gets a crit there as Eren Suicune decides to go for a Snarl here doing as much damage as possible to both Mons at this point. Jordan possibly predicting a switch on behalf of Eren Suicune decides to go for a Leech Seed onto that slot instead of a Power Whip this turn. So doing some residual damage to Suicune is never bad as it is one of the bulkier Mons in VGC. And as we see all this residual damage going on here. Eren decides to switch out his Suicune. Doesn't want to keep taking residual damage every turn. Or take a Power Whip for that matter. Switches out into his Hydreigon. As we see the Charm come out from the Meowstic once again onto the Ferrothorn slot. Reducing his damage by his attack stat by 2. As we see Jordan's uh, Suicune go for a Scald. Onto the once other Suicune slot. Now of Hydreigon. And we do see the Ferrothorn go for another Leech Seed onto the Meowstic. Nice prediction on his part. Predicting the Suicune to switch out of there. Getting some more residual damage onto the Meowstic. Which can be very annoying in VGC with access to moves like Charm, T-Wave, Swagger. And a bunch of other moves also. Safeguard. Dual Screens. As we see Safeguard coming up from Eren's Meowstic. And the Dark Pulse coming out from his Hydreigon. Picking up the KO onto Jordan's Suicune. As we see the Ferrothorn just firing off Leech Seeds left and right here. Going for more Leech Seed onto the Hydreigon. Trying to do as much damage. Whittle down Eren's team little by little. As Ferrothorn's offensive presence isn't really known very well especially now that it's a minus two thanks to the charm from the Meowstic. Unfortunately for Jordan though Ferrothorn is his last Pokemon left and Eren's gonna switch out his Meowstic back into his Suicune as Hydreigon fires off another Dark Pulse onto the Ferrothorn doing around 50-55% to it as unfortunately for Jordan gets the flinch which basically is going to seal up the game here for him as he goes for a protect to at least take down the Hydreigon here to the Leech Seed damage. Unfortunately though for Jordan, Eren decided to bring the same squad so he still got his Talonflame in the back waiting to take down this Ferrothorn. As we do see the Hydreigon go down to the Leech Seed recoil. And Choice Bandit Talonflame is easily going to pick up the KO onto this Ferrothorn. And we see Aaron Tang take a 2-0 victory over uh, University of Michigan's Jordan Vanderswag in the very first playoff match that we got here for you. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next season playoff game. And until then, you can stay updated on more ICPA info by following the links in the description below. See you guys next time.